Hello, this is Drown Across, and today we're gonna do a Niflheim guide um, tips, tricks I picked up by running this place so much. Uh, first thing, I would recommend that you're gonna be here for a while, grinding the Miss Echoes, so I would recommend that you change your difficulty to easy. That will make things, well, easier. So we got the first room here. We always have a fight here. The enemies that appear are random. We just get rid of them. This, this will be pretty easy. So once they're dead, they should be able to open up the chests that are in this area. Get yeah, those miss echoes, just look around, always look around. There will always be, I think always, will be a uh, Nornir chest here. Nornir chest. So make sure you remember these runes. Because to open this, you'll have to find the seals outside. So what I do is from Ivaldi's workshop, always start on the left. Um, there will be traps. These traps will kill you in one hit. I missed that. Go back. I always wait until they go back. So you gotta keep an eye out on the traps. Because there will be hidden little rooms like this one. It's all randomly generated. But even if the things are randomly generated, this applies to all the runs that you will do here. When you get to this Nornir chest, all the seals will be close by. So there's one, there's, there's the third one. Okay. Oh, I shall hit it on the first try. This will always give you Miss Echoes and upgrade stuff. Yeah, so we got some Miss Echoes and Hack Silver. So when there's two of these, I always look around because maybe there could be a hidden room. So just keep going forward after that one. And then here you will have another fight. Can be pretty annoying, so yeah, like, like it helps being on easy mode. Okay, once you're done in this room, loot, look around. And in this room, there will be your first seal. All right, over here. So try to remember what the first one was. I remember which one it was. Maybe backwards F. I don't know. So grab your things. And the other traps are the blade traps, will, which will not kill you in one hit, but if you get caught in them, uh, it's gonna hurt. So in this room, there's no fights here, but you might get some chests.
And then always on this room it will divide into two if you go left. There will be a boss here, and it's a Valkyrie. I haven't fought it yet, because I'm still recording the playthrough. So we won't fight her now. But we'll fight her once. As we start the playthrough. So that, on this side, the Valkyrie will always be on the left. On this room, once you, from when you enter it. So let's continue forward. Oh, if you see that on the ch if you see the chest on um, um, really close to the side you're on, don't try to get it. You'll get crushed. That that trap is really really bad. It has gotten me a few times. When you try to, if Kratos won't climb from that side. You have to do it from the other one. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Let's kill him. Yeah, revenants can be pretty annoying. Okay, again, once you kill all the enemies, look around for the chest. And on this room, it will be the second seal. So that's the one. I do remember that one. Again, look around. And keep going. Look right here. You can always look to see if there's passages to go up. got some good stuff here and again on this room it would it will divide into two also oh be too hasty on in this room this will be Let me make sure. Yeah, on this room, this will be a second, like a mini boss battle. It, it's random, also. You die. But yeah, in this room there will always be a mini boss, like a traveler or an ogre. It all depends on what any enemy types it generates and when you start the run. So always look around, there's nothing here. Okay, let's go. here ah uh, yeah I'll wait for this one <laughs> it'll be too hasty so then continue this will be another fight here that's a red revenue today And then, oh, there's something here.
And then on this room on this room will be the final deal. That one. I can't quite see. Nothing on this side. Oh. And there's nothing on this side. Then you'll reach to this empty room. One last trap. Nothing there. And here we're back again. We looped around. And here's the Nornir chest with all seals open. Yeah, we got a lot of echoes and uh. Oh, I just read it and I already forgot. An artifact of blights. You will get a lot of epic stones and some legendary stones. And then when you're done, either you can go up to Ivaldi's workshop or back to Sindri and you will receive your miss echoes. Enjoying Ivaldi's workshop? You've certainly spent enough time here. Yeah, yeah. so that's it. Um, no matter what your run is, you will always it'll always be the same. Um, the enemies will differ. Um, I think the second Nornir chest will diff will diff will be different. But if you always start on the left side facing Ivaldi's shop. I'm not 100% sure, but all of them, all of the runs I've done, it has been that way. The runes you find will always be the same exact pat pattern from left to right. So starting from the left side facing the Valdis Workshop. So, and it's always the same. The same rooms you start, there's a trap, empty room, another trap. Um, I already forgot but yeah if you if you follow along that path you won't miss anything and you're good to go um, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching and have a good day bye